Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily and today let's talk about table columns and one method how you can format the value of the column differently than it comes from the database. And here we have an example of an open source project called Dinero about money management and expense management and wallet management. The source is free on GitHub and I will link that in the description below. But what I wanted to show you is these two columns, so wallet type and wallet currency these values are different than they come from the database. Let me show you how exactly. On the GitHub of the narrow application, there's wallet resource. And in the table method of that resource, we see this. So there's a method called format state using on any column of the table. And then you have a callback function with state and you can return whatever you want. In this case, it's a short function just for translations. So state as in wallet type may be credit card or general or other text, but it uses translations here. What is a more complex example is this one, format state using currency code. And in here we have a separate function, kind of a global function. That country with currency and symbol comes from a file called app support helpers. So there's a helper file inside of that project outside of filament. It's not even a class. It's a classical helper file with functions. In this case, it's just two functions. But basically what it does is transforming that state, the currency, into a string of, as you can see, string dash string dash string and then another string, which is country name, currency name and symbol, which visually results into this. So this is the overall tip. You can format the state using whatever function. That function may be a global function that may be a function inside of the same resource. That's your choice. Also keep in mind that probably it's a bad idea if that function uses another database call because then you would bump into performance issues with too many queries to the database. So all the data should be ideally queried from the database in the main resource query. But if you need to do just some formatting here and there, put that in a callback function of format state using. What do you think about this example? Have you used any other different ways to format the column value? Let's discuss in the comments below. And see you guys in other videos.